Hi there F2Ps, it's Goodfellow here from F2P.com and today we are checking out Triad Wars from developers United Front Games. Uh, they are the developers behind single play game Sleeping Dogs and this is essentially uh, kind of the, the sequel but not because it's not a single player game although there are lots of single player elements which we'll get to. Uh, but in Sleeping Dogs you played a cop that was infiltrating the Triad. In this game, you are literally just a member of the triad, so you are a bad guy, no bones about it, you know, so you can do whatever you want and not feel bad about it, you know, you've not got the moral complexity that you had playing Sleeping Dogs. So, this is Triad Wars. It is labelled as being a open world action multiplayer. It's not an MMO, and the reasons being is that you don't play the game with other players, technically. Uh, it does play pretty much like a single player game, but there are multiplayer elements which we will explore. Now according to the developers they are looking to implement more multiplayer stuff such as co-op mode, um, but the game has just kind of thrown its doors open uh, so you can go and uh, download the game, check it out for yourself, and it's well worth it. It is free to play, and if you're into... Uh, kind of APB Reloaded, Grand Theft Auto, those kind of games. This is a really, really good free-to-play game. So, I'm going to show you the basics of the game. This menu here, we'll kind of have a little look through shortly, but I'm just going to show you around the world. So, at the moment, I'm in this really cool car. Uh, I just pulled up outside of um, somebody else's territory, another player's territory, and this car was being defended by those players. Uh, not those players, uh, by that player's NPCs. And essentially what happens, and I'll explain it as kind of as we go through, um, you build up your own turf. There's two elements to the game. There is the open world element, which we are currently in, obviously. And uh, this is kind of a sandbox element. You go around, you can do quests, whoa, and kind of earn XP or face as it's called. Uh, you can earn cash. There's different kinds of quests. And you'll see on the minimap at the bottom there, you've got red and green cards. Those are favours. And what favours do, you essentially equip them to either your character, your enforcer, or to your turf. Uh, and they give you various boosts, bonuses, perks, that kind of stuff. Okay, it's going to go into a different area now. Well, it's the same area, but it comes at a different place. That You are in Hong Kong, uh, the entire city. So at the moment, we're just kind of going in the outskirts. Uh, so... You have your own turf. Every player has turf, and other players' turf will appear in the the sandbox world. So, I basically pulled up to another player's turf. He had NPCs there defending his territory. I killed them, and his car, who was presumably a closed beta tester, that's why he's got this cool car. His car was outside. Now, I've not stolen his car, but. I kind of temporarily have it. He will always have this car. Anytime he dies or he uh, gets locked up or whatever, or his car blows up, um, he can kind of get his car out again. I can. Once this is gone, um, I, I get to play in this car for a little while. Um, and the the turf, the player's turf. Like the different players that you come across, it resets all the time. So, unless you come across another closed beta test, I'm not going to see this game, this car again. So, I'm just enjoying it while I can. I thought it was pretty cool. I got the chance to play it, um, which otherwise, you know, I, I wouldn't get that chance. So, I can really smash up. Unfortunately, unlike uh, the likes of Grand Theft Auto, I guess, it's kind of the one that you're going to kind of compare this game to the most, I imagine. Um, I don't get to keep this car. I can't put it in a garage. You can see the parking garage is there. That lets me get out my cars, what I've unlocked. So, this is the open world aspect. There are lots of quests and stuff. Um, and, you, you know, you can do stuff like... Do drive-bys. Oh, oh, I've run out of ammo. Okay, we're reloading. Okay, we're reloading. Okay, get the hell out of my... Oh, he's pretty cool. He's just, he's just on his phone. What the heck's going on? There we go. That's more like it. Okay, now the police are after me. So, let's show you a bit of open world stuff before we get into the uh, operations and raids and that kind of stuff. Where are they? Where are the police? Where are the police? Where are the police at? Where are the police at? Hey, boys! Woo! Look how game it suckers! Yeah? Okay, let's do it. Okay, now it's on. So, you can see the red reticule on the minimap there. I have to get outside of that to lose them. 
and these guys are pretty relentless. These, the, the orange line there is just showing me um, a quest that I previously flagged up, so that's there at the moment. <coughs> Do apologies for, coming, for coughing? Okay, so this is a pretty fast car, so I probably could just blatantly outrun them, but let's let them catch up a little bit. And then we'll... Uh, we'll okay, we're going to go out. They're still going to follow me. They're still going to follow me on the other right, on this side. So... Here we go. Ooh, we're gonna have a jump up here. Woohoo! Woohoo! Don't hit that. Oh god. Oh no. Out of control. Where are they at? Oh, they are coming down. Okay, right, okay. Here we go. We're gonna get a proper chase scene now. Cool! <laughs> that was like some evil Knievel type stuff. I want this guy to pull up. There we go. So he's at the side of me, so as soon as I start aiming, it slows down a little bit. I can shoot his wheels out. Kind of do some awesome stuff like that. Uh, I'll get these guys behind me. Boom, shoot those guys out. I can be driving around. I can start doing some drive-by type stuff. Where are we at? Uh. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, it's really cool. Oh, whoa! Which way are you going, bro? So you can do some really cool stuff. Okay, so let's outrun these guys and then I'll, uh, I'll go and do some of the quests. So yeah, you can see that the actual uh, the driving is really cool, really cinematic. Um, and these guys are looking like they don't want to be that easy to uh, for me to get away from. Oh, more more police are coming up now. Okay, so we might have to start doing some uh, <coughs> some sneaky back alley driving. Ooh, not this car. Easier to get away. We'll we'll get a motorbike at some point because this is quite hard to get around. It'd be easier to come. Oh, there we go. We've lost some. Okay, cool. Hi there. Hi all. Uh, so, uh, we'll show you the uh, your enforcer card. So you got your enforcer. As you level up, you unlock extra um, abilities, and you can equip uh, favors. Let's get some favors first. So, favors you um, either unlock by gameplay, and uh, so those little red and green cards on the mini map, um, they will give you different cards and stuff. Or um, you can buy favors using gold, which is obviously the in-game uh, premium currency. They come in different versions. You've got production, which is for building up your turf, which we'll have a look at. Uh, raid weapon upgrades, and uh, that's for helping you with raids, which is fighting other players' turf. Or just general weapon combat. So if we've got some weapon combat, we can buy that. And then you open them, and you're going to open them individually. So, when you buy the card packs, you always get one rare gold item. So, that's a level 10 item. That's whatever. Uh, okay, general XP. Ooh! Fast Mag Froch AR5 XL. So, you need to be level 26 to uh, use that one. Got a shotgun level 24. Nice. Excellent. Infinite ammo. Always a good one to have. And then we've got a cool revolver. Now, you'll see this is a level 26 pistol. Um, so, I'll, we'll unlock some of the other ones uh, shortly. So, we're going to go to our enforcer. And you get to choose your weapons. I've not got any decent melee weapons at the moment. So, I've got a level 5 hammer, level 4 hammer. Um, and as you level up your own character, your enemies are level up. So all my enemies are now level 26. So a level 6 hammer doesn't even do anything. I've, I've got... Uh, we were playing the game previously, and then the developers have said, like, here, have a level, you know, we'll upgrade your character to level 26. So all my gear was, like, newbie gear. So I had... This is what I've currently got equipped, a level 4 pistol. Now if I... And they're kind of, yeah, let's go and kill some police, and kind of shooting the police in the face, which would normally kind of, like, kill them in two hits, and they're just not taking damage whatsoever, because they are now level 26. So that doesn't help me at all. Uh, so I need to equip my level 26 pistol. And we will go with the... Oh, we'll get the new, the, the new weapon that we've just got. So that's my loadout. Um, you can get um, some favors for... Um, for different... Uh, okay, oh, well, right, this is trying for, for selling them. There we go. So if I want to increase my movement speed... Uh, I've got a look at that attack attack speed. There we go. So that's level ten. So you want kind of higher level stuff for your abilities and whatnot. Um, fortunately, if you don't have good weapons, you you do have martial arts combat, um, which we will sh demonstrate in a moment. Um, so you you know you always have something. Uh, you've got outfits. <coughs> you can buy various gear. And now that we've got some um, 
Let's get a, a new jacket or something. Oh, no, no, no. I want a jacket. Where's my accessories? Accessories? No. Pants, shoes, tattoo, hair, face. Where? What the heck? Where's my... Oh, okay. Let's go to the store. Chest. Ah, there we go. Okay. It's because I haven't bought anything. So we've got 140 gold. 35. We're going to buy the most expensive one. Because we've got like... I think it's just going to be the black leather jacket. Oh, that's cool. And you get it for 18 hours. So you, you kind of hire this stuff. Which is fine. But you do, you can earn gold through quests and completing missions and stuff like that. So it's not, it's not terrible. Um, okay, so let's go back. Um, oh, let's, let's have a hat. What can we go for? A picture. <laughs> I love it. I'm not going for it because I'm going to buy something else instead in a moment. Oh, what the masks? So look at the masks. Oh, these are pretty cool. Seems like you're a criminal. I like it. <laughs> Uh, but you can also get vehicles as well, so I'm going to check out the vehicles. It's actually outfit. Let's go to the store. <coughs> so I can buy a variety of vehicles. So we've got a little scooter, a little bear. Pretty cool. Wow, and it's probably going to be pretty fast for 1300 uh, gold. I think it's going to be pretty, pretty fast car. But I've already got a, a relatively fast car. I don't know if I need any of these. I don't know whether I should spend 900, um, 900 gold. Oh, well, might as well. I think it's... Yeah, let's get it. For 18 hours, why not? There we go. Yeah! Okay. So I'm feeling good about myself. Have I got my leather jacket equipped? Cool. Okay, let's do this. Let's go and find... I mean, I mean, this is probably a better car because it's close to basic. So now we need to find a, a car park. So we'll go and find a car park and then... We'll check out our new car, and then we'll take up uh, one of these quests. So, I've got a car park over here on the left. You can see it marked on the minimap with a little P there. So, we're going to go over. Hey there. So, you can... Oh, oh. Oh, I'm being ambushed. Okay. Ah. Okay, where are these guys at? Where are these guys at? You're all dead. On that. So these are things that players set up. I'm not entirely sure how it works because I've not had a chance to do it myself. Okay, we've got one dude over here. Uh, and now we've got all the, the police after us. And this is going to get pretty, pretty bad. I just, I just wanted to get my car. So you guys are really messing me up here. And it just gets worse and worse. So we've got the police after us. Let's jump in the police car. There we go. So I think we took out the ambush. But yeah, so the police then start getting machine guns. So now I have to try and lose the police again. It's, you know, it's generally what happens, you get ambushed, you do missions, police come out. I think we might lose them pretty quickly, maybe. Might be lucky here, might be lucky. Oh no! I think we just got out. No, no. I think we're going to get caught, we're going to get caught. Oh, we're so close. I think we might lose them. I think we might lose them. Yeah, we got out, we got out, we got out, we got out. Okay, okay, let's pick up this quest while we're here then. So you got quests all over the place. You can never really tell what they're going to be until you go on to them. Abduction, catch the snitch and drop him off for question. Okay, let's do it. So. The snitch is up there. Okay, it's easy enough. So he might be with somebody. Oh, shit! Okay, you're going to try and run? You're going to do some parkour? Oh, yeah. So am I. Oh! I don't think so, bro. I don't think so. You were so not quick enough. Boom! Don't kill the target. Did I kill him? I don't think I killed him. Oh. Okay, I killed him. Well... Might as well make sure. Okay, so that quest failed because I inadvertently killed him. Got a car here at least. It's convenient that they gave us a car to uh, to get into. Alright, I've got a, part, a car part around the corner, so let's go and try our car now. We'll not pull up with uh, a weapon this time. Uh, and then we'll go and get another quest. So this, you know, it happens. I think I was supposed to maybe grab him. Or maybe they've given up, I don't know. Okay, so I've not got a weapon at this time. Hey, let's get my vehicles. So this is one that I've got. Oh, no, I didn't know. I didn't want this one. That's my default one, but I don't want that one. Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry, I picked the wrong car. Hi. 
Uh, I want my new Panzer GTS, please. Thank you. Ooh, it sounds good. Uh, so you can see the little health bars, the little, um, the little food vendors. We're gonna we're gonna go on uh, speed to a food vendor. So you space for healing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. I want a pork bun. I want a pork bun. Give me pork bun. What's going on, bro? Pork bun me. Why want to give me pork bun? There we go. Thank you. I want a pork bun. <laughs> I'm beating you up for a pork bun. Yeah. Okay. So this is gonna put my health up top left. Okay. Let's go and do. <coughs> let's go and do another quest. In my car. So I've got one up here, question mark on the right hand side. So you can sometimes tell, sometimes when you pull up outside, okay, so this one is a load of gang members there. I'm going to have to kill all these gang members, no doubt about it. No police around. So. <laughs> yeah! You want some of this, huh? You want some of this? Yeah! Yeah! You want some of this? Yeah! <laughs> Okay, so the blue guy there, he's the one with the, uh, he's got my, my, uh, my, le my max health, so there you go, so that's a good upgrade. So you pick up different stuff all the time, that's generally what they do. Uh, now we're going to try and find a raid on someone, so we can actually go into, uh, into the map and you see different players. So we've got a level 28 dude, um, for some reason I can't fight him, don't know why, or maybe I can. I don't know. Where are we at? So we're there. I mean, this guy's pretty close. Let's go for him. Let's go and raid his territory. Uh, and we actually, let's gear ourselves up a little bit better because they're, they're going to be quite difficult. Um, okay, so. Oh, that's conflicting. Max health. So I can only have one max health, I guess? Ah, okay. And then we'll have a look at the turf. So yeah, we're gonna uh, not the turf. Yeah, we'll have a look at our turf. Or should we have a look at ours before we go to theirs? Yeah, I'll, I'll get there and then I will. Uh, I'll do, so you see this armor truck thing popping pop up as well. It's kind of got out of the way now, but that's basically a um, a, a mission like a, a world mission. So you, if like armor trucks float about, sometimes you can. Um, you can go and hi like hijack them. Okay, so it's going to be just around the corner. I will, I will uh, take a look over the turf system first. Okay, so this is my turf. I have different buildings and stuff. Um, your your different rackets. Um, every place has uh, a warehouse, I believe. Every place has a garden, and every place has a safe house. Then you choose which uh, new buildings you want to purchase. So, you can go into the racket tech tree to see what you want to upgrade, extortion, guns, fitting, gambling, and smuggling. So, I can try to build one of these and it shows me where they go. Or I can upgrade one of my existing ones. So, if I build a new one... Uh, oh, you can't build a racket because you have no build points. Okay, yeah, I have no build points. I forgot to check that. Um, you have to upgrade your safe house to... Um, come on, enter. What's going on? There we go. <coughs> uh, so, upgrade your safe house to gain build points. Upgrade. And there you go. New money, laundering rate, gold, tables 2, rank requirement, straw sandal, yada yada yada. $50,000. So, yeah, and I now have one build point. Pilot, one build point. Um, how much money did I have? Okay, so that's upgrading to level 4. There we go. It was still showing me I had like fifty thousand uh, dollars, and I was just like, "That that's that's not true. I don't have that." Um, so uh, the thing is now is that I can't upgrade. Uh, I can't build my new building because I don't have the money to build it. So you can't have to do quests, stuff like that. And these do give you money. See, so you saw that I just collected it. I can click collect here. So collecting more money. It's all going, and um, and that's as you upgrade them, they get better. So as I was saying with the um, 
the favors you can also get racket bosses he's a favor um, you get your staff defenders all these kind of stuff you you get by activating favors um but i don't i, I don't think i've got that activate favor yeah i've not built that racket yet, so i can't use that one and uh, what have i got i have got food cap but i don't think i can activate that one already got too many staff um overflow activate favor there we go so six hours extra and um, overflow cool and that's what it does so you build up your turf and then my turf will appear for another player in their kind of instance of the game and they can attack me as i'm going to attack somebody else in a moment but before i do before i do uh, let's check out my favors <coughs> makes sense to give yourself infinite ammo right and now you can just go nuts so here we go. Uh, so if I hang my, you can see the top right now, infinite, uh, infinity symbol. So it shows. Uh, oh, his his base has moved. Oh, maybe his base has been taken down now because I wait so long. Maybe somebody else has taken it, or maybe they can only attack so many times. But we've got another one here. Whoa, dodged. Oh yeah, let's do a bit of martial arts combat first. Boom. Oh, okay, get beat up. No, I don't want to start. I don't want to start the raid yet. Oh, okay. So yeah, so I can put in uh, extra. Ones. Okay, so the raid has started. Okay, let's go. Let's go. And what we're gonna do is quickly, quickly, quickly. Ah, dodge him. Oh come on! Don't trying to combat me. Get out of it! You're just taking up too much time. Ah! So you get the chance to do counters and stuff like that. Looks like there's a lot of beta players here. I'm presuming because... There we go. Now I can go in. So, because of the level I've been upgraded to, most players that are of this level... Um, they, they're they going to have been in from beta, so they have all this stuff. Oh my god, look at all these things! They're going to have like really cool rackets as well. So he's got so many rackets. I mean, I mean, I can, I, I could have activated my uh, my favors to give me more time to take them all out. Yeah, I probably should have given myself. I'm not gonna have enough time to uh, take out every uh, every racket here. But you can see as I defeat them, um, the the racket. Oh, there's still somebody left here. Where they at? Where they at? No, I can't see anybody unless they've run off somewhere. Okay, maybe this guy over here. Get out of town! Yeah, I got infinite ammo. Could do this all day long. So, headshots give uh, a ball I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try and fight this guy so I, I want to see if I can do this this is quite hard to do but if I get him over here oh. okay I need to try and beat him up first so one second oh okay not him he's somebody else it's quite hard to show this uh, I'll tell you what, first let's take some out and then I've got one left so I've still not managed to do this one, why is that? I don't, oh, do I have to go in here? Oh, there's more people inside, wow, okay. Oh, these guys have got guns. I can take cover. Okay. I kind of... I, I don't know why I'm not taking over these rackets. Normally you just have to kill the people in them and then uh, you get them, but... Doesn't appear to be the case. Oh, because there's an upstairs. Okay, that's cool. Oh, someone's got a machine gun. Careful. Where's the machine gun? Okay, so we've got that one because we've killed everybody in this racket. Cool. We can jump down here. Completed the first racket. How long have we got? We've got nine minutes left. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so let's go into uh, the smaller one. Because I want to try and show you... 
Okay, so it's just this one guy left. Let's fight him. I need to try and find... I need to... Okay. Now I can pick him up. Hopefully. Come on! Oh, come on. Okay, that didn't work either. It's really difficult to do, but... What's actually... How many people... Are... Okay, we've still got some dudes here. He's trying to call back up? Yeah, that didn't work, did it? That didn't go down well. Okay, I think... Oh! Okay, so, hopefully, 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 hopefully... You can use the scenery. This certain place, it's not always obvious where they are. Just know that the electrocution ones are. I think that was actually as well. Might be able to use that. Anyway, so you, you have to grab them and then uh, do something cool. But it's not immediately. Okay, let's grab him, and then let's walk around, look for something. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is it. <laughs> and they get gorier and gorier. There's some that are like kind of like super destructive. I want to try and find one of those ones. Probably not gonna have the time to clean out all the rackets. We'll head over to the safe house uh, in a minute. Wait, Wah! Wah! Oh. So I managed to grab that guy from behind then. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Okay. I have to be really careful right now. Oh. Okay, so I've done this one as well. Uh, I can pick up a favor from him. That's pretty cool. Sweet. Okay, so we're gonna head straight over to the uh, the store, the, the storage room, no. the storage room, S the safe house. Uh, but we have to fight through the gardens first. So that'll be through here. Um, no, that's the warehouse. So we need to go through this bit. Hopefully, nobody will see us. <whistles> Stealthy. La 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 la. Go down here. Okay. So this is en route to. Oh, where is it? Oh, do I have to fight. Oh, I have to fight through the storeyard to get to the thing. This, this is different. I have to go through this building. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Ah, I think I have to go through the, the the safe house to get to the storage. To oh, the storage exports. There we go. It's actually pretty hard to get your weapon at, but let's get up here. Oh, ho, sneaky boy! Not sneaky enough. Okay. So I've got four minutes left to get through this place. So this leads into my guard. The guard. Oh, I've not killed everybody here yet. Why can't I get in? What's going on? Hmm. Interesting. Ah, there's somebody there, that's why. There we go. Now I can get in. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so there's two guys left in here, as you can see from the thing. Let's 
one. Where's the other dude? Oh, sugar. I'm nearly dead. Where you at? Where you at? We've got three... Okay. Our health goes up a little bit. We can pick up his weapons, but we don't need them. So we're going to go in here. And what we got? What we got? Goes into like max pain mode. That everyone? Sweet man. Three minutes to go. So this is the same for everybody's turf. Um, you, the, the layout is pretty much the same. It's just how many rackets you can get through beforehand. And this is our guy's uh, N4. So this is his player. This is his character. And we're now going to fight it. Oh, I'm in the middle of reloading. Leave me alone, bro. Oh, that's that's the dude. <laughs> no. Dead. I'm down. Okay, so I got I got defeated. So you had the dude machine gunning me in the back, and this is probably because a lot of my favors aren't quite up to par. Um, and so I've not kind of upgraded my character enough. So I kind of get in there, and you know he's a little bit on the weaker side. But essentially, that's that's kind of the game, and it's got its good quality. When you yeah, so when you die. Yeah, yeah. When you die, you end up in the hospital. If you get arrested by the police, you end up in the police station. But other than that, so my car, that my my coolest car, that's kind of out here at the moment. Uncle David, he's he's your story-driven quest guy. You get some story-driven plots off him. So in general, the game I do really like. Uh, it is a lot of fun, and it is one of those games that I do kind of keep. Oh, you know, even outside of having to review, it, like yeah, I'm gonna kind of slow it up and kind of have a little play in the evening, and just, you know, it's. Boom, there you go. You actually got a ram button when you're in a car, so you can kind of knock people off the road and stuff. And um, I still keep all my favors, by the way, so I can. And then the police are here. And they do actually get into firefights with the police, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, my, my biggest issue really is that there isn't that much multiplayer content. I'm just going to ram into you. I mean, look how bloody that is. Yeah, there's not a lot of multiplayer content, and that is the thing that is seriously lacking. To be able to kind of run around this world, engage in PvP, you know, faction-based, because you do have uh, factions with uh, the different triads. Um, it, would, it would just add a whole kind of... Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, a whole new level of gameplay to the game. Uh, and it does stay very much the same. The quests does get a little bit repetitive after a while. So it's got its pros, it's got its cons, but overall it is a fun game. It's definitely worth trying out. It is free to play. And it is... Whoa, yeah! <laughs> it's a free alternative to... Oh, I missed it. To other games that are similar to this. And, you know, with infinite bullets and a cool weapon, you know, you can just go on an awesome rampage. So there you go. This was Triad Wars. Um, try it out for yourself. And um, for me, it gets a massive thumbs up. It's one of the, easily one of the best free-to-play games going. It's just so much fun. Um, and you can play it for free as well. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you found the video uh, informative. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it entertaining. Whoa! Oh dear. 
And if you did, then please give us a, a thumbs up. And hit the subscribe button. If you hit the subscribe button... Oh, I'm going to go this, get this armor truck. Uh, if you hit the subscribe button, then you'll find out about all our videos as and when we release them. So, thanks again. I have been Goodfellow. You have been you. This has been Tried Wells. And hopefully we shall see you in the next video. Where's he at? Bye-bye!